Okay, hi guys. So let's look at this question here. Interesting question. It says that n by seventy two is a proper fraction. For how many different values of n would n by seventy two be a terminating decimal? Okay. So now, uh, first let's get first let's get the concept of uh, this uh, terminating decimal. Okay. So what is this terminating decimal? Okay. See, uh, a fraction, any fraction, will be a terminating decimal. Only when denominator, okay, the denominator is of the form two raised to n into some five raised to n. That means it only contains powers of two and five. It only contains powers of two and five, right? Now why I am saying this? Let's say, for example, you put some values here. You can check here. So let's say, for example, three by ten is a, a is a terminating decimal. That means three by ten is what it is point three. Why it is terminating? Because ten ten is what ten is two into five. Okay. For example, seven by forty is a terminating decimal. Obviously, right? Why? Because uh, I can uh, this value I can change it to any terminating part. Why? Because The denominator, when any time it contains any power of two and five, I can always change it to nearest power of ten. Like for example, if you have seven by forty here, what is forty now? So forty is two cube into five. That means I can make it the denominator. I can make it power of ten. That means I can make it thousand. How I can make it thousand? So two cube into five cube is thousand. So I can multiply by five square and five square. Okay, getting it. So we had got seven. We had seven by forty. So I can multiply by five square and five square. So what it is become? So forty into five square becomes thousand, and seven into five square becomes what? It becomes one seventy five. So again, it is zero point one seven five. Getting it now? So again, it's a terminating decimal. So whenever the whenever the denominator will contain any power of two and five, that can be made in the form of two raised to n into five raised to n. That is in powers of ten. And it can be written written as terminating decimal always, right? So that means for the conclusion is that for terminating decimal, denominator must be in the form of some two raised to x into five raised to y. Okay, n and n not need to be same. X and y can do different actually, right? But the thing is that it should contain powers of two and five. So now, obviously, so what is seventy-two here? So n by seventy-two, if I observe, it is two cube into three square. Okay. So obviously, uh, this uh, n should not be three square, है ना? So if I want n to be a uh, this uh, terminating terminating decimal, that means n should cancel three square. Okay. Such so that only, for example, only one by eight is left. So one by eight is terminating because I can change it to nearest power of ten. No, how? See, one what is one by eight? So one by eight is one by two cube. So that means I can change into nearest power of ten. That is by multiplying by five cube here, है ना? That becomes what? That becomes five cube by thousand. That becomes zero point one two five. Getting it? So always, even if it contains as contains power of two, I can convert it to power of five and make it uh, power of ten. Okay. So two raised to x and five raised to y needs to be there. Any one of them can can be absent. That means two can be power. Like for example, here two cube is there, but power of five is not there. That's fine. But either two or five or both should be there. Okay. So n basically. So if n will cancel three is square. So if n will cancel three is square. Okay. Then it will become a terminating decimal. Okay. Now what are the values of n here? So you can say that. Okay, the value of n can be n can be uh, n has to cancel three square. That means three square is equal to nine. So n can be any multiple of nine. So n can be nine. N can be eighteen. N can be twenty-seven like that. Hana. For example, if n equal to eighteen, what will happen? Eighteen by two cube into three square. This will cancel two times. It becomes one by four, and one by four is a Terminating decimal, terminating decimal, right? One point two five. That that's a funda. Okay. 
So basically, uh, n can take all these values. N can be any multiple of nine, so that it cancels three square. So it can be nine up to where up to it can be till sixty three. It can be there, right? Because why? Because why can't be seventy two? Why can't be eighty one? Because at seventy two and eighty one, it it will not be a proper fraction. Proper fraction means numerator must be less than denominator, right? So till sixty three, because be below we have seventy two here. So till sixty three. We can take the n can take the values and it it is a proper fraction, right? So what is my answer? My answer is seven values, nine, eighteen. So nine into one till nine into seven, we have got seven values is the answer for this question. So hope you got the uh, good all the funda behind this question, right? Okay, thank you. And also also this combat guys. Okay, so this uh, combat. Uh, Uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so the easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around 8 to 10 months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrd sets also um, this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get get to get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 1 year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% or so sir so great prizes are on offer here okay So get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here. Ravi Roda, it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely absolutely free of cost. Okay, so ask you for invite code. Put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay, and do give this every Sunday. Do give this at twelve p.m. It's on every Sunday. Okay, so every Sunday give this on twelve p.m. Thank you.